<laughs> you don't look like no chicken chaser to me. I am the greatest chicken chaser. I am. I am the one who chases chickens. I am the one who chases chickens. Jesse. Some bandits have set up a toll in this region. Be careful. Was, was I supposed to counter the guys already? Sorry, just a bit of a blech. Ha. Huh. So we have to deal with these guys. All payment of toll will result in your agonizing death. We can pay them the money, be on our I'm way, or... this path is private. It'll cost you to get through. Or we can always use your head as an ornament. Either way suits us. So, unless you're wanting... And the shiny's over, and we'll let you pass. I'm waiting. I want more shinies. <laughs> nope. Rip the swine's arms off. Oh yeah. I forgot, uh, if you get a super strike... Like a full strike on your weapon, your weapon, uh, your, at your range, you can actually stun the guys for a little bit. For a second or two. This reminds me of the uh, beginning quest. Well, one of the first, I think, yeah, like the first quest in the Fatal 2 game. It was a fun one. Kinda. I never really liked going around these woody wood areas because it just felt like I'm not going anywhere. Like, there's nothing here for me. Let me. Oh, that's not what I want. That's not what I want either. I want to take these guys out first. And then hit over the other guys and keep my streak as long as I can. Which probably isn't going to last very long, to be honest. But, you know. The more it can last, the more XP I can get, hopefully. Of course, it's, like, going to almost completely drain by then, but... Uh, freeze time! Oh, we just got Super Festival all of a sudden. What's going on? Yeah, you could, you could already tell these guys are getting uh, stronger. Like, that guy with all that stuff on his back is, like, the champ. Champ, the leader, or whatever. Let me do this. Spamming that time stop. I, uh, sorry to say, folks, but I think that's what uh, most of the LP is going to probably be like. It's me just doing that. Where's this guy going? Oh, we're going to warn the other people. They're already dead. You fool. Run and absorb. Yes. And then let it drain because what else am I going to do? Check these chests because some of them have a toll worth in them. About 500? 500 extra gold? That sounds pretty nice. Yeah. Now me, in the other two games, you'll see me like buying up houses left and right. Flame augments. Ooh. Oh. Let me explain about that in a second. In the two and three... People 2 and 3, you're going to see me buying up houses and stuff left and right. Don't worry about that. But, oh, that's an explosive barrel. I'm a, I'm a dumb idiot. Uh, left and right, buying up houses and whatnot there, just because when it's pay time, the money just goes into you. Like, you just absorb it. You don't have, in this game, you have to go and get it from, from the house if you uh, rent it out. In the other games, you don't. Which is why I'm probably not going to rent out houses in this game. Just because you put a lot of money into it, and you get very little money in. Ah, this is a little bit of an upgrade if you want it, if you didn't get it earlier. I'm just going to sell that for money. Houses, you put a good bit of money in, you get a tiny, tiny bit every time. In 2 and 3, you can actually up the tax, so you can, they can pay you, they, can, they have to pay you more, or they can pay you a little less. But you get, you know, good or bad evil points, pretty much. But here, you don't do any of that. You just buy it, spruce it up some if you want. They have to pay you more, and then three paydays, and then they get to live for free until you go and get the stuff. It's kind of meh. This demon door needs you to do evil, and we can't do that yet. I'm not going to show all the demon doors. I'm probably going to get through the ones that offer me a good bit of goodies. 
like uh, maybe like more stat boost and potions or something like that. But other than that, uh, probably not. So I still need to keep going. Still hit me. That's a bit of a dog. Even while I'm going super speed. I'm basically like uh, people who are fast. Oh. How do you words? Go down here and I guess activate this. Boom! Teleportation. Is there a guy around here? No. Nope. Oh no, the traitors are. You want, you, want, oh, you want to know a good way to get around killing traitors for their goods? You just let the NPCs kill them. Because you don't get any negative points for watching. But, if they die and drop stuff, you get all that goodies. Oh, all about that goodies. Hey, wow. Alright. You, you all couldn't take the one guy? I wonder what's down there. I don't know. I'm not going to bother. Let's actually see. There's a sign. I saw the sign. Bruised Cultage. We'll go there later. Oh, Moonfish there if you want to fish that out. Kind of cool. Kind of not really that important. A mechanic in 2 that isn't really a mechanic. Oh, shoot. Uh, in, in this one, in Fable 1 and 3, you... I didn't want to do that, actually, but alright. You actually can teleport from place to place, so it's like... Alright, I need to go there, and you just teleport there, and no time has passed. In 2, there's nothing really like that. So it just says, oh, you want to go down this road? Alright, that's about an hour, uh, or that's about five hours, or that's a whole day's worth of walking, or whatever. You want to take a stagecoach so you can quickly get there? It's, it's not really important to take the stagecoach to get there super quicker. Because it's not like your character dies after a couple years on the road. <laughs> so I just... It's kind of annoying, like... It's not really that important. But this is not the way we're supposed to go. But I'm going this way anyways for goodies. A little potion and not much else. So let's take a look at the healing. Doesn't do much. Takes a lot of MP. But pretty spammable, actually. This guy needs you to get a good combo going. Uh, not really possible right now. Avo, you're here! I thought we were gonna die in this hellish place! We have to get to the Barrow Fields at the other end of Darkwood. You lead the way, we'll be right behind you. The sooner we put this forest behind us, the better. There are unnatural things out there. Coming! In Darkwood, you will find the Chapel of Scorm. Please the day it is there, and they will let evil into your soul. Ah, help! Something bit me and left me for dead. Please, let me come with you. We can't let him follow. He's infected. He'll be eating our guts before we know it. We have sworn a traitor oath. We have to help him. This isn't a good idea. Not a good idea at all. I can pay well, and there won't be any trouble. Thank you, hero. I'm very grateful. Lead the way! Lead the way. It's a special trader. I'm sure you can tell. <laughs> Augment. I totally forgot about talking about this. So, a lot of weapons, mainly higher level Lead weapons on. down the road, will have uh, augments, <clears throat> augment slots, which you could put those augment gems in. And it'll give them abilities. Like the one I got, Flaming, turns my sword on fire. Allows me to do extra fire damage. Or just kind of just fire damage. Uh, a lot of weapons, some weapons, mostly legendary ones. Uh, which are special versions of a lot of weapons. Will have augment, augments already in them. I 
I don't like this one bit. We never should have come this way. A Balverine, careful. So these guys are a little tough. They like to jump around and whatnot. They are one of the staple enemies of the series, and they're kind of cool, but they're also kind of meh. Because, oh, do the stab thing all. They're, they're basically just uh, werewolves. But, kind of cool, I guess. Is it dead? No. I just remembered something. I don't think I have the right gloves on. Okay, I do. Never mind. Ah, I didn't actually want to do that. You can attack your followers too, which really will screw you, screw you up. Oh, now he's dead. So that healing ability, I believe, can actually heal uh, any allies that you're with, like this, with these guys. So that's, that's pretty neat. I'll cap myself lucky if I'm still alive at the end of this. Beware, traveler. I block the way to all but the most combat hardened. If you request, my guardians will test your metal in combat. Meet their challenge, and the reward I hide is yours. You have to fight some guys with that that door, and it's it's actually a really bad idea to do it with these guys. I just thought. Is this? Yep, this is it. Not like the end, but those spores are dangerous. We have some spore stuffs. He's got a good point. You think th you think they'd make an actual road throughout this? Because um, I, there's probably like a further around kind of road, but I think this is like the most road. There is, you know? Ah, whatever. Oh, can't. Oh, no. What am I doing? Except to hope they don't die. Oh, this guy's gonna explode. Boom! I think we're good. I think if you just hurry up and get to the next area, they just teleport. Uh, yeah, but we're, you know, like. I don't know. Like a, th a third to, uh, to Oakwood. I guess about a halfway to the end. Good. We need to move quickly. Some extra here. Some bandits. <laughs> Look at my expert prowessness. I'm actually really strong for these these beginning areas. I'm realizing, but I'm okay with that. You know, in games, I don't mind. I'd like. Oh yeah, boots. Let's see, An extra eight armor, not much, but you know, more than n not eight, I guess. I don't think I could take much more of this. But what am I saying? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, my feet are killing me. I forgot what I was saying. Oh well. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be there in no Something time. about rather than not. Hmm. Where are yous? Let's give this a try. If I get hit, it won't stagger me and take my thing away. Yeah, but it'll take away from my mana. Which kind of is a bummer, but at the same time... Why not, right? And it's like this super shield, like, power up. It's like an energy shield. It's... <laughs> I just realized, it's literally an energy shield. But it's like a more realistic one, I guess you could say. One in where, in order to charge it up, it's not. Oh wait, no, it does take mana to activate. Right? But it, it takes a little bit of energy to start up. Makes sense because you've got to have that initial shielding that takes away from the battery. It doesn't drain. It only drains when you get hit, compared to other shields, which don't. That's eh, too much. This is another area I think that was added in uh, the DLC, well, the 
the the lost chapters version of the game. We're almost there. Only a couple more areas to go. Very close now to the end of this quest. Well, he is the first camp. I suppose we could wait here if you have other things to do. The longer we can stay here, the better, as far as I'm concerned. Doesn't don't think there's a teleport in here, which sucks, unfortunately. So yeah, you could have actually could have thought I totally forgot about armor. Buying that is. You could totally buy armor. How do I? How's business? Oh, that's how we put it away. I forgot how to put armor away. Do I get banished for this? Nope. There, uh... I'm losing everything. Yeah, I totally forgot about buying armor. This takes me right back I usually just waited... Waited until I, uh, just found all the leather stuff. I don't really bother with buying armor unless it's, like, I need it for a demon door or something special. Or if it's, like, the armor. Like, the last armor you'll ever need. Like... The plate gauntlets, the the plate the plate armor is actually the end all, be all, armor of the game. There's three types of it. There's regular, which is silver. There's gold, which is the good guy, and black, which is the bad guy. Cause you know how that works. Black leather, dark. I see a theme here. If there's any pieces of armor I'm missing? I think I got it all. Except maybe the leggings. Come yeah, on. I am missing the leggings, so I will take them and put them on in a minute. This guy doesn't have anything else. It's a clothes vendor. I'm probably gonna get that uh, the pants in a bit, but eh, you know what? Whatever. Uh, no gloves. Like that. I would like this. A little bit more of that. I'm not as pretty, but eh, whatever. I thought this women loved a man in uniform. It's really funny, I think, that you that like the master weapons. Like, look at this. It's really expensive, but there's there's like once you get it, you can just equip it. Unlike other weapons, like uh, to do. Oh, not seeing it because I guess I fulfilled them. Like some of the weapons need at least a couple levels in your stats. These 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 don't. <laughs> So you, you can just get them. It's awesome. That I'm gonna... Oh, that's his. I do have a couple weapons I'd like to sell. Like this old iron katana. That. And that. I'm not gonna get a lot of uh, money, but... Did you know the Oracle eh. is awake again? I never and I, I think we're it. good here, so let's just move on out. They should, like, in towns and whatnot, should allow you to slowly heal. So this way is to the temple of Scrom or whatever. It's it's the bad guy. It's the evil morale temple place. So if you want to boost up your evil, go there. And the ultimate bow, I believe, is there too. You have to sacrifice a bunch of people at a certain time. Do do very specific things Will involving sacrificing and time. But I'm probably not going to do that. Because I don't use bows nearly as often. In, in 2... Uh... I guess I... Ooh, that's not what I wanted to use. There we go. In 2, I used ranged way more. Because of how easier it was to do. Like, it was just... Press... Like, I was shooting off my gun as fast as I'm swinging now. It is awesome. It was so cool. I love shooting guns in an RPG game. This area also. This will be uh, apparent later in life. Later in the game story. I really want to get to Oakville today. I was wondering. Oh. So far from the beginning to the game till now, to till like another hour or two, it's all in one sitting. Well, not like all in one big recording, but it's all in one day so far. So sad moment is if if all this all a lot of this recording could be like 
messed up and nobody would be here in any of this because I'd have to scrap a bunch, but hopefully that's not the case. That's really sad to think of. Some good re uh, resurrection files. It, I think it's okay to sell a couple of those, you know? Unless you're really bad at the game and so bad that you actually need to go and buy them. Personally, oh my gosh, this place is a cakewalk. Barely getting hurt. And I can just heal up the hurt, and it's just so good. Yeah, the great thing. The change is almost upon me. The greatest, the, the great thing about the healing spell is, it, it not only do you have health potions, but your mana potions. They, they if you, they have to go through one process, one, uh, one, this like step. Right back to when I first one, one step of processing, but they can turn into health. They're basically pseudo health potions as well, and it's awesome. A little treasure chest hidden down here. Can't hide nothing from me. Lightning augment. I don't think that's nearly as... Oh. Golden carrot. Ooh, chase away the night's darkness and brings daylight into the world. Tofu, the ultimate good guy food. And the greatest uh, Resident Evil character of all time. Even I'll admit he's a good character, although he's not the best. But that's obviously Lana as Kennedy. Oh, bit of a hurt going on there. I'm not sure if you can like get through this, through the the swamp here fast enough to to uh, save that guy. I actually don't think you can, because he he turns he he turns like halfway through it. So unless you somehow really go fast, like a Sanic. I've got a feeling everything will be alright. As Velvrin appears, everything's gonna be fine as evil appears. Come on. This is it. Yeah. So, the other guy's dead. Not gonna do much about that. Can't do much about that. Healing. I need to upgrade my healing next chance I get up. So this is like one of the best places to get XP's and whatnot. You slow down time and do this. You can super, super easily dodge. Uh, just the trolls things and then pump a bunch of whatnots into them. Uh, but yeah, like I said, early on, you want to try to hoard as many uh, health potions as you can just to kind of get that one method of uh, easy money making going and guile exp experience going as soon as you can. But later on, when when you level that skill up a bunch and you have a like a hundred or so spare uh, health potions it's not a bit it's not that big of a deal to to go ahead and use some here and there if you need to but early on when you're really trying to conserve health potions well I guess you could just get other food for one but uh, the heal is my go-to personally just because I'm still trying to save money, and I tend not to use much else for uh, for uh, mana, except for this spell, I guess. This is really taking a while. See if I can quickly hobble myself there. Ooh, that's loud in my ear. Sorry, I was just wearing headphones. Oh, I think I got him. Get oh, no more. Yeah. Ooh, I win. And the winning's taking forever. 
get a good bit of experience, <clears throat> and a gem. And that's the pseudo boss fight for this area. Made it through the Barrel Fields, John Barrelman Fields. Guys, it's a barrel fields. Barrel fields. Follow me. I know the way from here. Follow me. And a sweet little gate right there. Just be safe. Not much further now. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, just uh, slowly reading ahead on like a uh, like a little check to do list stuff. There's another blue mushroom here, but I'm not going to be getting that for a while. Ah, there you are. We've been expecting you. Yay! Got a good bit of everything there. You have reached familiar status. Maze seeks an audience with you again. We will find him in Oakvale Tavern. It seemed rather urgent. Are you looking for blue mushrooms? Pretty popular items, I can tell you. I've only got one left now. Sold one to a trader near the guild, and then the other two. Let me think. Oh, yes. One went to a rather miserable woman. Likes to hang around the picnic area. The other went to a fellow who said he was throwing a party in the guild woods. So, are you interested? Demand is high, supply is low, so I can't take anything less than 1,500 gold. Not buying. <laughs> it's your... You won't be disappointed here. So, I'm, I'm just going to wait. You can actually steal stuff in this game. Hence why some uh, merchants have stuff just laying about. I think we can do a special offer. I'm not going to uh, get that until I can steal it, because that's a lot of gold, and I, ooh, I can super afford it, actually. But I'm not gonna, because I don't want to waste my gold on that. Even if it is a quest. It has something there for me. I'm not much of a trader here. I'm more of a farmer. Farmer Michael. Hello. I remember you. We thought you died in that awful bandit raid all those years ago. So where have you been all this time? You do remember me, don't you? I was looking for Rosie, my teddy bear, just before the raid. After that day, my parents moved to Bowerstone, but I never really liked it there. Uh, are you all right? I think I lost you there for a second. Anyway, I have to go now. But it was great to see you again. Bye! Over here. Who said that? Oh, Maze. I'm not going to talk to him right now. There's another uh, main quest. Uh, there's another silver quest, which is a. Br Shut up, Mace. Bronze quests are like uh, you know, uh, ah, you know, casually doing them, whatever. Silver quests are more like, eh, it's a bit of an adventure. Gold quests are obviously like the main quest. So I'm gonna go TP back to follow. Follow. Oh, that's me saying it. Okay, I need to press the right buttons, maybe. I need to equip my guild seal so that I can actually use it forever. Set it to up. Is that... Oh, press the wrong button. Gosh, dang it. Pressing all the wrong buttons now. Back back to the guild since I can now use that. I believe most likely uh, get that other silver quest up there. And the next time we'll go complete that because it's a bit of a bit of a journey of a quest, sorta. There's a couple things to do alongside the quest. Uh, now we're gonna do the demon doors, but there's a couple things in the areas areas of it that I would be interested in doing. Hey, I'm here. I'm super fast too, by the way, because I'm all flashy. 
Flash is a good show. He's a good character. I like him. Hob Cave. I might check out the boast in a bit. See what it's got. Let's upgrade ourselves and grow older. Lots of experience all around the board. Mm. Oh, that's tempting, but no. Speed I'll get because it does... Dexterous and melee. Okay. It does something in melee. It's, it's what I was wondering about. Uh, let's go over to... I'll get this because this is useful for a couple of the demon doors, which I'll try my hand at. Maybe. Actually, you know what? No. F that. Take it back. Undo. I don't want to do that. I'm not following the guide. I'm just using it as a reference for stuff. This, though, I will upgrade and I'll probably leave that at that. Let's see, what should I get here? Health, physique, toughness. I'm probably just going to go with physique. For now. I'll probably call that a day. Because there's actually... Huh. I hope I didn't screw myself over, actually. There, there's, there's a thing later in the game that you can't do at first. Even if you have max stats. What you do it, the game says, Alright, now come back with these stats which are a couple levels higher than, the, than what you had, and it will allow you to do it. So I may have just effed myself up, but I'll show it off and I'll explain the weapon, whatever, next time.